Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to show you all of my watercolor brushes and tell you all about them, where I get them, what I use them for. And for the next few weeks, I'm going to be posting some shorter videos, letting you know about my supplies and materials, um, just because I am working on a few really big projects right now for licensing courses. Um, so I'm trying not to go uh, completely missing on YouTube, so hopefully you'll enjoy these next upcoming videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I am going to show you a bunch of my brushes here. This is my main stash. I do have more than that, but um, I'll start off with this big one. I don't always use this, but this is something I would use for painting really large watercolor paintings. Um, I've used it for painting really large scale animals, uh, great blue heron and some of my bears and larger mammals um, with uh, much bigger paintings that are like 22 by 30 inches. I'd use this one for a lot of the main washes. And this is a Princeton one inch select oval mop brush. So that's that one. And The next uh, ones I'll show you are sort of my three main brushes. And these are these um, Raphael brushes. And I have a double zero, which is my smallest brush. I have a size two. I use both of these ones quite a lot for my botanical painting. And then I have a size four and a size six. And I would say I use these three the most, especially for my botanical painting. Um, like these are my most common paintings. These are three paintings out of my 50 watercolor flower series, which I am still working on. I'm on painting number um, 16 of 50 right now. So because I have a day job, I can't paint every single day and the project's been taking a little while, but I'm still enjoying it and I'm really excited to um, finish them all eventually. So these ones are Raphael. They're Kalinsky Sable round brushes. They have a very, very um, fine point, which is excellent for the botanical painting. And even though this one, the number six, doesn't have, uh, look like it has a fine point, when it gets wet, it does uh, bunch together into a very nice, delicate fine point which is how you'll get all the nice detail on the center of the flowers and really delicate lines. So if you're just starting out and you've struggled with botanical painting, it is very important to have high quality brushes. These brushes are, I think, about 20 to $40 each. This one, the small one might be a little bit less. So it seems like it could be really expensive. Um, but if you want good results, investing in the good brushes is extremely important. It's necessary. It's, you can't really get the same results without them. Um, and these ones I order from the UK off a site called Rosemary & Co. I'll link these in the description below. This brush is, um, another tiny little brush. I got this from a local art store. Um, the brand has worn off. I do have a blog article with the exact links to this brush um, and the name of it. So I'll link that in the description below as well. It's a round brush as well, but it's a little bit of a, it's almost like a spotting brush. So it's not quite as fine of a tip, but it's quite sturdy. It's also Kalinsky Sable. But what I use this for is a lot of the time I use it on step three of my three-step painting method for botanicals. And that's putting on a um, wet wash on dry paper and then rinsing the brush and blending it out. And if you compare these two brushes, this is very fine for fine detail and lines, but it doesn't really blend as well with this nice tiny point, whereas this one does blend better. So even though these are about the same size, I do use them for different purposes. And then I have uh, these two brushes. They are Kalinsky Sable as well. They're just older brushes or before 
I got the um, Raphael brand. I used these. They're still pretty good. They are Connoisseur brand. You can get these online. Um, and I believe they're in that same blog article, which will be linked below. And now that these are sort of a bit older and worn out for from me using them before uh, quite a bit, I just use these ones for mixing my paint and really scrubbing my paint palette so I don't wear the tips out of my other good brushes. For the most part, sometimes I do pick up paint with the other ones, but I try and use these ones. Um, or if I really need to scrub off a mistake on my painting and dab it up with a paper towel, I'll use these brushes as well. And I have a size one and size three in these. And then this brush is, again, I use this mostly just when I'm painting animals. I haven't done a lot of animal painting on YouTube. Um, but it's really great for a nice wet wash and getting a fur texture that I use. And this is a Windsor and Newton round. It's the Artist Watercolor Sable series in a size eight. And um, this one does not come to as nice of a point, even though it's sable. So it didn't really work out for what I wanted it to with uh, botanical painting. However, I found out it works very well for creating a nice furry texture for animals. So it's, this has all kind of come about trial and error for me. This is just a synthetic little chisel brush. And again, same thing, I will use this for cleaning up little edges along um, fine lines. Like if I go outside the edge of a stem, I'll get this wet, scrub it, and dab it with a paper towel. And you could just use any old dollar store brush. These are both synthetic. This one I don't think I rinsed very well. Um, again, same thing, just getting a crisp edge on something that's maybe square. And uh, yeah, just Taclon synthetic bristles, I believe. This is a six, it's called a shader. Don't even know what size this one is, probably a four or a two. Um, but they're nice and handy to have as well. You could use these for color mixing too if you wanted. And that's pretty much it. Those are my main brushes. And if you would like to have a look at uh, more brushes like this, check out the description below on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next week with another video. If you liked this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.